Say, hey, guess what, guys? I'm, uh, I'm making another movie. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, the fake blood. Apparently, you're supposed to present as feminine or masculine. Well, I'm presenting is fucking idiots. Why did we stop drawing ridiculous looking sea monsters on our maps after we chartered the world's oceans? What did you do to my boys? Um, the hell is your screen name? When you meet a new group of people and everyone starts sharing their pronouns, call that a PRONOUN HOLDDOWN! Holy shit, guys! The producer of the Scooby-Doo movie's named... Dick Suckles! Yo, guess what year he was born in, pal? January 1969! I don't know what energy it is, but the whole movie just radiates something forbidden. Who else is in the mood to walk barefoot over the moors in a blood-red velvet ball gown, with anguish in your soul and wet leaves in your hair, while the wind blows moodily and dramatically? Can we all get McDonald's afterwards? We all deserve it, so yes, absolutely, my treat. Year 3000. Naruto is dead. Zaruto, the son of Paruto, who is the son of Karuto, who is the son of Goruto, who is the son of Boruto, who is the son of Naruto, now has an anime. Mm -hmm. Zaruto is gonna be better than Paruto. Kishimoto assures at age 1026. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. I honestly can't deal with secondhand embarrassment in TV shows or movies very well. I like literally pause it internally scream and come back in like 10 years let me just say i've owned a riff for two years thinking it's supposed to look that blurry but i guess you got to wear glasses even in virtual reality today i shoved my glasses into the headset and it's like seeing vr for the first time brownie face i thought vr was just bad oh pucky you poor innocent soul Fun Christmas idea! Hang mistletoe, but instead of kissing you, you have to fight whoever else is underneath it. Call it mistletoe. Someone's halls are getting dirt. Listen, bro, not to sound like a fucking wuss or anything, but like, kitchen appliances are dope. No, listen, dude, I know you think that's girl shit, but think about it. You can use tongs to easily pick up chicken. You can flip them on the other side and get an evenly cooked filet. Wait, listen, bro, 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 bro. You can get a spice drawer so you can organize and experiment with different kinds of spices. You can get a non-stick pan so you don't even have to worry about that shit sticking. Like, bro, bro, fucking come on, man. Live it up. Teaching kindergarten is like being an ambassador to beings from another planet and teaching them how to assimilate to our culture. No, we do not lick water fountains. Perhaps that's acceptable on your planet, but here on Earth, we prefer to drink from water fountains. Physics might be a little different on your planet, but here when you throw things, they typically fall and break. Grabbing people and shaking them violently is not considered a public greeting on this planet. This... this is real. Yo, shout out to the trans girl that called her estrogen pills titty skittles. I appreciated that greatly, and it was the funniest thing I've heard all year. When the back of my neck gets tickled. Jesus, what the fuck happened to that plane? It got tickled on the back of its neck, like you just said. Another day down. Till the next fun surprise. That sounds like a threat. Ugh, not everything I say is a threat. But this is. When a bard uses vicious mockery, what they say comes out sounding incomprehensibly bass boosted. And that's how it causes physical damage. Oh, listen up, you fucking... <laughs>